This is Christina Reese for Glass Tire. I would like to talk briefly about my favorite show of the summer, which is a retrospective of Norman Lewis's work at the Amon Carter Museum of Fort Worth. It's called Norman Lewis Procession. Um, his work was new to me. I did not grow up seeing it. He was a Harlem painter. He was, uh, his years were from the 30s through the 70s. He died in 1979. Um, he was, uh, but he's sort of known as an abstract expressionist. He never lost all sense of figuration in his work. There's some of it uh, throughout um, his career. But I think the reason that we don't know him and his work more than we do is because he sort of fell between two stools. He, um, although he was friends with the other Abax painters and they liked his work, he wasn't included in their group shows because he was black and not part of this white male canon. And um, when curators were putting together shows of black artist work, he was left out of those shows as well because his work wasn't figurative enough and or overtly political enough or they weren't um, representative enough of the black experience. And so he just kind of was on the sidelines and shouldn't have been because the work is very, very good. He, um, he started out as a, as a figurative painter and a bit of a social realist really and that wasn't uncommon for for abex painters to start out that way um and those paintings are they kick off the show and they're fantastic um his figurative work is great and you know that you're in good hands when you take a look at those and um you know i like how he plays with scale uh the politics are there the they're incredibly charming actually some of them and very beautiful and then uh, by the mid 40s he started to move into more abstract work and um, he was huge uh, jazz aficionado and you really see that in these paintings from the mid to late 40s and early 50s they're incredibly musical paintings um, they look like jazz sounds and um, and they do it very well uh, and this is the part of the show where I was starting to go from painting to painting, and each painting that I looked at was my new favorite painting in the show. And then you get into the work that he started to do in the late 50s and, and, and through the 60s, and this was the Civil Rights era. The, the show is called Procession, and it's really after these bodies of work that he made in this, in this time. And so Procession, they, they're these beautiful compositions, and they evoke... Um, People coming together, marches and uh, civil rights activists and people, black people and, and activists coming together to make their voice heard, to figure out how to move forward. And um, he, he does incredible things with, with color. And, and the, the centerpiece of the show is called American Totem, and it's from 1960. And I think it's the centerpiece of the show, and it's a stunning painting. It looks entirely fresh. It doesn't look like it's mired in 1960. It looks like the way that it feels like it resonates, it resonates forward and backward and into the future. And um, it really is a treasure. And it's worth, if anything, just go see the show to spend some time with that particular painting. So, uh, you know, as you move through these rooms and you move through his decades, you just realize um, how confident he was and how authoritative he was. He was just so sure-footed in everything that he tried and did. It all it feels like these works are almost predestined, and that they were predetermined, and that sort of like, um, you know, Athena sort of sprung from the head of Zeus fully formed, and it kind of feels like these paintings, you know, he doesn't hedge on anything. But of course, these paintings aren't effortless, because making, making paintings this good takes a lot of effort. It's a lot of decision-making. I hope that this is not the last retrospective of his work in our era. I think more people need to be exposed to what he was and how good he was. And I hope that in the next five or ten years, some other smart curators will decide to pull all this work together again and put it in a big institution and have the maximum number of people see it. Um, see the show before it's down.